everyone, it's Melissa. Today I am going to do a video on just a few small things that I bought in Atlanta. Just, I didn't buy very much. And uh, one toy that I want to show you that I bought for my granddaughter for Christmas. For those of you that are grandparents and might be traveling this summer because I love this toy. And uh, she, just, she just absolutely I loved it as did the other grandkids too. So I'm going to talk about that. Okay, so this is the toy I was telling you all about. So what it does is it's got these little things and this is a magnet. This right here on the end is a magnet. So you can draw designs like that. And it comes with designs to get for, as guidelines. This whole little thing is full of designs. And so, you know, you can do it all over like that. Any kind of design. And it stays. You know, it stays put. You have to push, so your design will stay. It won't move around, you know, like an Etch-a-Sketch or anything. You know, it, it stays, stays put. You have to push it down, actually physically push it down to start all over again. So they can make these really, really cool designs that, uh, you know, make anything, do their name, anything like that. They can do any kind of stuff like that. And it will stay put until they physically, you know, it's just so it just you can feel it you can feel it pull it up the little balls there are little balls in there and then this is the magnet and this is we are all going to the beach this summer and this is going to be perfect to play with in the car so if you've got grandkids or kids and you're going to be traveling i think that this would be a good one to have so that is my my very favorite toy i've gotten in a while it comes with a nice carrying case too I'm filming this in the car, by the way. I ran down to her house so I could demonstrate it, but uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Let's see, before, oh, before we get started, I am, Doug and I'm changing my exercise routine, and I probably will end up doing a video on it when I get more established. It just occurred to me, I'm always thinking ahead, and it occurred to me, um, just like when I was young, I thought ahead about what I wanted my skin to look like when I got old. Now I'm thinking about what I want my strength and my body to be like when I'm 90, hopefully, hopefully when I'm 90. And I want it to be very strong. Uh, illnesses and weaknesses will start coming in and I want it to be very, very strong, very flexible. So uh, I, I, I do exercises anyway. I do weights, arm weights, I do leg weights. Um, and I do back bends and I can do, I do splits, you know, that type of thing. Uh, so I'm very, very limber. My joints are very limber. I want it to stay that way, so I've added yoga to it and Doug's doing yoga with me. So we're, we're, just doing, uh, we're just a few days in, but I'm really enjoying it. I think he is. He kind of rolls his eyes at some of the mental part of it, I guess, the, you know, think about this and stuff like that. But anyway, I like it. And we've been doing the yoga with Adrienne and I'll link her channel below. So uh, we're doing the 30 day program at first and then it's not a program, just videos to watch it. It didn't cost anything. And then uh, s some other friends have mentioned a few other ones that they did. And so I, I think we might explore that, but we're getting through this one first and then seeing if we want to continue on with her after 30 days or if we want to switch to another yoga pro, just spitting all over the place, or if we want to switch to another yoga program. But I just had this feeling that I wanted to, you know, I think having a strong body is probably more important or feeling the strength. I want to feel strength inside. I want to feel very strong. I want to feel mighty. I want to feel, <laughs> this sounds silly. I want to feel, um, just powerful inside and just let my body will do what I want it to because um, I don't know, to me that is more important. I mean, I do everything I can to anti-age, but I've got all my skincare that I want. And so, you know, I'm done with that for the rest of my life, you know, getting, getting unless they come up with something, you know, new that's just miraculous that doesn't involve injections or anything like that, then I'm good with the skincare uh, that I use and going into a really older, older, older age. And uh, hopefully, and so I thought, but I want my body to, to feel very powerful. I want it to, I want to feel very powerful inside because then I think it will help me to fight 
um, not fight, but to overcome the problems of getting very old, you know, the weaknesses and the stiffness and um, the things that can really cripple me. And so I'm hoping that I can combat that. I want, I want to feel mighty. <laughs> I don't know why, I just want to feel mighty. I want to feel like a mighty woman. So anyway, enough of that. I am going to get on. Uh, I'm going to tell you the things that I bought in Atlanta. I had such a wonderful time. You know, I did a vlog and then we did our Melistons video. So that was a lot of fun. But today I'm going to uh, talk about what I did buy in Atlanta. And I bought it at the Lenox Square at um, Neiman Marcus, I believe. So, I was very heavily influenced by being around Kristen Game. She and I have the same eye color. I think she does her eyes just beautifully. So, uh, I was very inspired by her and asked her opinion on the things that she had bought. Um, and uh, she is, keep in mind, she is quite a bit younger than I am. She is about my daughter's age. So, um, you know, that, you know, she's a whole generation behind me. But, uh, you know, I wanted to see if I could take some of the products that she used and make, and make them work for myself. So, uh, these are two Stila, uh, they're, they're Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Uh, and they do glow. I've got it on today. I've put on as much as I could today except for the lipstick. Um, I got two of them. One of them is the Jezebel, which is like a bronzy color. She wears bronzy colors. I tend to not wear bronzy colors, but I wanted to try it. And I have it on today. I've got to be honest, I'm not sure yet. I've just got it on my lid and then everything around it is matte. Because at my age, I want to make sure that I don't emphasize the crepiness that I have on my eyelids. But I do, I do like it, but I'm going to wear it for a while longer until I see. And it, you know, it comes right here. And what I do is I just put it on uh, first and pat it around and then put on my foundation and put on other things and, you know, let it set. I think that's the important thing is to let it set is what Kristen told me. And then put your eyeshadow, your other eyeshadows on around it. And the other one that I got is also from Stila, and it is the color, it is Kitten. So I've, I've always liked Kitten, and I thought, well, I'm gonna try it in this, and it is really, really pretty too. Everybody knows what Kitten looks like. And there it is right there. So, so I'm very, uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna like it, uh, I'm going to use it a little bit more, so I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them. So I got those two, and those were from Stila. Also with it came a Stila mascara. Uh, it is the, let's see, it is called the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And I did not like this at all. Uh, I like the way it, it went on and how it separated and stuff like that. And it's, there's a nice wand, but it smeared horribly on me. But to be fair, a lot of things, quite a few things uh, smear on me. Mascaras and eyeliners and things like that. But this one was just a mess. Pretty much within, by lunchtime, it was a mess. So, I'm going to put that in my empties and... Cannot recommend it if you have a tendency to have mascara that smears on you. Okay, throw these away. Now, I have been on a quest and I have found quite a few dupes for the, uh, let's see, Nude Vanilla by Tom Ford because they discontinued that color. So I thought, well, Kristen, in fact, Kristen Game told me, she said, I think that you might like the uh, Charlotte Tilbury formula. And, oh, I do. I love it. But we looked and we looked and looked at the colors. And the one that really, really, I really love is the Kim, it's the Kim KW. Okay, so I'm going to do the Nude Vanille. And I'm going to do the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. Oh, goodness, are they close. 
Kim K. W. Nude Vanel. Kim K. W. Nude Vanel. That's a good enough close, good enough dupe for me. That's close enough, and it's just a lovely, lovely formula. Uh, I did a. Uh, I did a video that I will try to remember to link below where I did uh, try to find dupes for the nude vanilla and for the Spanish pink. But uh, this is, you know, this is a, the, if you like the formula of the Tom Ford, the Charlotte Tilbury, you're going to love the formula of the Charlotte Tilbury too because to me they're just, this one's just as beautiful as the Tom Ford is. So uh, I can highly, highly, highly recommend that. And um, I got a new lip liner to wear with it. And this is also a Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury, and it is Pink Venus. Let you know, let me just, let me swatch it on this white piece of paper. I think that just shows up just as well, or if not better. Oh, it's, it's smeared when I folded it. Okay, but here is the, there is the lip liner. So you can see how well it goes with, you know, the different uh, lipstick colors right there. I just really think it's so pretty. I love wearing a lip liner, and I love that color. And then you can put a, I do not have it on today because I didn't feel like it went as well with this bronzy uh, eyeshadow that I have on. And I also have on the Urban Decay Heat Palette with it. So I did use my, uh, oh, what did I use? Maybelline Poison Nectar. And it is about to the end. Just the Maybelline, well, you can see what it looks like on my lips. And I'm trying another new uh, shadow, uh, foundation stick. This one is from Bobbi Brown. It's her Bobbi Brown, let's see, the color is, it's skin, a skin foundation stick, and the color is, <coughs> and the color is Warm Beige 3.5. <coughs> the, the color is Warm Beige 3.5. <coughs> Oliver, Okay, let's see, did I get anything else? I think that was about, oh, oh. I also got this from L'Oreal. I had seen Nisha, Sugar Puff and Fluff. She said that she really liked this. It's L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And it's the one that's, you know, real pointy like that. So it's real good to get up in your waterline. So I've got it on today, like it too. It seems to last pretty well, and uh, you know it's it's good price point. So, oh, I, can't, I know there was other stuff I wanted to talk about. I guess that's all I got, which is plenty, which is plenty. But I I feel like I got other things. I didn't get any eyeshadow palettes. I got the foundation. I got the eyeshadow things, and I got the lip stuff. So I guess that was it. Um, it was a wonderful time. I really had a blast. Um, I think that you could see how much fun we had in the, um, the car chats that we did and in the blogs that we did. So, okay, I'm gonna let y'all go. Oh, I think I'll do an outfit of the day because um, I was getting ready to go to work and I wanted to show a coat that I bought. It's a London Fog raincoat that I bought. Oh several, I guess, seven years ago, something like that. Uh, I bought it before we went to England one year, and I thought, you know, that, that shouldn't just be worn for, for when we go to London. It should be worn in Tennessee, too, especially this time of year in the spring. So, because I, I don't consider it a raincoat. I consider it an all-weather coat, and it's just, you know, a nice length. It just looks real nice and everything. The uh, the necklace that I have on is fake pearls. You know, they're, they're not real, of course. But Dad gave them to me, I guess, about 20 years ago, and I've always just really liked them so much. Uh, I thought he did a good job. I had no idea I was getting them, and I, I've just always really enjoyed them a lot. And uh, everything else I have on, I don't know if it's still available. It's a couple of years old. Just some black pants that are kind of cropped, um, or a little bit shorter, and a little turtleneck that I can't even remember where I got it. So here is the outfit without the coat. Just like I said, simple turtleneck, black pants, and just some very, very old Kate Spade shoes. And here it is with the coat. I just, it makes me feel like a spy, like James Bond or something.
And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the coat is by London Fog. You know, classic, classic line, classic label. So uh, that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you back again on Tuesday. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.